everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by Quicksell. Quicksell, you know you want to use it. Okay, well yesterday's mission was pretty much Milk Run. If a Milk Run was ever to be, like, <sighs> shown in the dictionary, that would be the, the video that they would put alongside it. But of course, it's only an online dictionary. But anyway, that being said, let's just jump straight into a battle today. I know exactly what we're going to do. Let's go right to the command center. We're going to take our second oh, lance down, our new second lance, that is. We've got a uh, battle here, a uh, capture base mission against Tamron Abbey at three skulls, which I think is pretty good for a medium lance. Um, Tamron Abbey has been putting up some heavy uh, units against us uh, every time we go against them. So I'm going to go full salvage on this one. Hopefully we can claim some good stuff here. We're going to be bringing, uh, let's just go, um, I don't know, let's just try and load. I know you're trying to load the other one. Uh, Lance C. Yeah, yeah, I know. So what do we have? The bush rocket and the stone crow came over. We got the two pilots. It's just not doing what it's supposed to be doing. So Nasty and Prime Time are here. Who do we got? We want... So Lifeboat's going to move down one. We're going to bring Boomer because we are taking the Avatar today. And what do we... Actually, do we have a full... We do. We've got Red Flag. So let's leave Boomer out. With lifeboat over. Let's take Kodiak and let's take a red flag to get him some XP. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, because we moved everybody up. We picked up a couple of other um, pilots here in the past little bit. We're just kind of gaining experience by sitting in the background. So the gauntlet. So we had the storm crow. I'm trying to remember how we did this now. I think this is kind of had. Contains an interface cockpit which requires. Have it re oh, really? Did I grab the wrong one? No, I didn't. Oh, the Despero. This has got one too? Well, shit. That's no good. Torso mounted interface system. Maybe that's why it was, it was the torso mounted that was throwing me off. Yeah, right at the very top. Cannot be piloted with, hope, with pilots without neural implants. So if that's... Wait a minute. If that's built in, there's no way to get around that? Let's go to the mech bay real quick. I was all excited, too, to try this thing out. Um, is there no way to get around that? Like, it's permanently on there. So we can't even take... Like, anything. Yeah. Damn. It's not replaceable either. Shoot. Well, that's... Oh, man, that's so brutal. Now we've got two really good mechs that I can't use. Oh, man, do I... Uh, so frustrating. I think maybe from now on, my my main pilots are going to have to have the neural interface. I'll have to take test pilot every time. Just so that I can use these cool mechs. Damn. Well, I guess we have to switch this guy back. Maybe we are going to have to... Um... Oh, it's so frustrating. Well, let's just piecemeal something then. Man center. Negotiate. Yep, full. We'll just take what we have then, I guess. Alright. Well. <sighs> wonder if this makes a difference. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, it didn't make a difference. Okay, well. Where's our pilots here? <sighs> Okay, you're down here. You're down here. Now, who's doing what? So, you've got the recoil reduction and the jam chance reduction. Stormcrow doesn't need that. The bushwhacker... Oh, man, i got to remember what everything has. everybody has now. AC-5 pirate, right, and all the rockets. So, Crusader... 
I mean, the plasma cannon could misfire. But it doesn't jam, so it doesn't really matter what my main pilot is piloting. None of these things jam either. So I guess let's put... I think she's already had Crusader. Yeah, she's already been on the Crusader, so we'll put that on her. Ah, oh, lifeboat. What do you got going on? You've been in the Storm Crow, Panther, Centurion. Yeah, right? And then you... Been in the Whacker, Storm Crow. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Let's keep you alive in this thing. And let's hope we don't get wrecked here. We'll take the Duke out. Take the Pegasus out. I mean, these pilots are okay. Your Pegasus pilot, you are... What have you been doing? Anything? Chariot, chariot and the Ferret. Chariot I put in storage. We don't have that out anymore. Uh, we could we could go with Cloudbuster because we haven't run this in a while with a pair of AC5 Mergerins. We could do that. I mean, I could make it easy. You know what? Let's bring the Nidhogg. We haven't used this guy yet. Let's just see how it works. We'll bring you here. We want the one with the more invade, like the more evasion here, so you can at least uh, stay hidden. And we're three skulls. Should be fine, right? Command interface initiated. All right, well, here we go. Fortress is here. Hopefully we don't... Oh, it looks like they got two lances down there. Well, this should be an interesting fight. This is a great spot for a battle mech fight. It sure really as hell great. is. They got two lances too, Bubba. We need to, like, wreck one before and then get the other one. So let's drop here and get on these guys fast. If I sit over here... They're going to all shoot at me. But if I go here, I can probably nail these guys real quick before the reinforcements get up to into the battle. So we're going to do that. Let's get into here. I have no idea what to expect here. And then we got one more lance coming after we take the base, right? So. Unless one of these is our scout marker. So one is the scout marker. Okay. So it's not two lances. It's only one. All right, well, that's... Waiting for orders. That's, like, marginally disappointing. <laughs> I was actually kind of hoping for a super hard fight here at the beginning, but... As, as bad as that would be, because we would take a lot of damage, but it's more fun when we got a good challenge going on. Griffin's partly damaged. Light Goss Rifle, LRM-10. Prowler, uh... Yeah, it doesn't have much, but we have a really great chance to hit this thing. So let's capitalize. Thunderbolt, we're not going to get much better chance than that. What are we looking at for armor here? Ah, it's taking a bit of damage already. You know what? I'm going to put the rockets on. Let's try for a quick kill on this guy. AC5's up. Yeah, we're good. Alright, we spread that damage around. I'm out of SRM. We should be able to kill him with somebody, though. Yeah, his whole side's caved. Alright. Yes, Commander. Alright, Moxie. Let's, um... Burn some shit. Moving out. I mean, it's a death shot in this guy, probably. We could just go with the rifle, the AC-5. The Mydron. Probably get the kill, save the plasma cannon. Just go this route and get the kill on this guy, probably. Taking the shot. Nope. Damn it! Hey. Let's use everybody on the same guy. Why not? Moving to position. Might as well. Okay, well, there's a copter down here. Balak spotter. You don't have a lot, but we're going to go after... Uh, where is he? Where are you? Yeah, we're not going to bother with the rockets. We'll just fire these. Hopefully we can get a kill here. Yeah, we're just spreading the damage like completely around this guy. Jesus. Really? Oh, a pair of large lasers over there. Is that a Cloudbuster? No? What do we got? Savage Wolf A. Ooh, that's a nice piece of clan kit. Let's get that guy. This guy's got a chance to get away. If he does damage to me... 
nice. Didn't get past the AMS. What's up, boss? I need you to get out of these freaking trees and kill that guy. Well, not that guy, but take the shot on him anyway. On my way. Double time. I wanted to kill that stupid uh, prowler. It got away from me. That's pretty nice. We'll take that shot. Excellent. Skipper. Well, you might as well run in flak mode. We got someone to shoot at. Use the flak ammo. Get him, boy. Oh, brutal. Yeah, I'm glad I switched to those AC-5s. The Mydrins are nice. As long as it doesn't jam or, or misfire. I don't know if it misfires, though. That's the thing. Uh, we'll just take a shot at this guy. Let's move. Wow, really? How, what's your range? Apparently not, uh, 480 max. Okay. It's weird that the light AC-10 shoots... doesn't shoot as far. I'm not gonna fire anything. It doesn't shoot as far, but the light AC-20 shoots farther than the regular AC-20. Maybe because the round is lighter? I don't know. Good to go. On the AC-20? Not the- obviously not on the other one. Uh, let's get on this savage wolf guy. Get over here. Moving out. We got the range, let's use it. This guy's a ranged fire guy. But apparently we're out of range. Because of course we are. Uh, we'll take- we'll use Thunderbolt, why not? I copy. Nope. Just scaring him. No joy. I'm out of long range missiles. That's all right. Yeah, you don't got the range either. Either, either, or there. Yep. Let's get their reinforcements in here as fast as possible. That's garbage. We'll take a shot anyway. Ooh, nice hit. 20 heat. There you go. Present for you. You're about to get a hell of a lot more heat than that, so, uh... Gonna need more than that. Savage Wolf is hot. Commander? It's hot. Let's make Hello. it hotter. Ooh, it's out of range. Well, that's fine. This fire what we got. Everything's incendiaries anyway, so let's just do it. All right. A little bit more heat. Not much, but a little bit more. Once that plasma cannon's in range. Oh good, you're coming out. Yeah, the one thing this lance doesn't lack is AMS though, that's for sure. Receiving you. Um, what are we doing? Here, I think. On my way. I'm just walking it up. I'm not worried about uh, moving quickly here. Keep shooting this guy. Engaging target. Nothing. Nothing but air. Damn it. Ready to rock. All right, you know what you gotta do, Bubba. You know what you gotta do. I got you. Let's get a second kill for today. Here it comes. Nope. Reporting. Critical hit. I gotta get myself my I gotta get myself twenty or thirty of those prowlers. On it. Let's get in with this guy though. I have no idea where that griffin's gone, but this uh Nidhog's gonna go finish him off, I think. We'll chase him down. So, standard, we have incendiary ammo as well. Improved and incendiary. Not not a bad loadout on this thing. Let's just go this route, get the kill on him. On it. Or not. Oh, we got him, never mind. Tango down. We'll use the incendiaries on the griffin. Let's make it happen. Yeah, that's what we'll do. What now? Or...
Get down to here. I have no idea where the reinforcements are going to show up from. Um... Oh boy. It's tempting. We'll fire one salvo at this guy. And see if we can get some barbecue going on him today. Maybe we can get this guy to shut down. Here we go. There you go. What's up, boss? A little bit of presence. You can go against the Griffin. I'm gonna Move switch the, uh, the the target from uh, for the uh, Nidhog to the uh, Savage Wolf. We'll get we'll get the get this guy over here on this guy. Acknowledged. Tags on. Nice. Excellent. Ready for orders. Let's add a bit of barbecue to this guy. Add a bit of barbecue. Hey, we're having a barbecue. You want to come? He doesn't want to come. He just can't take the heat. I'm here. I'd say stay out of the fire, but we're about Roger. to freaking give you a whole lot of it right here. I think he's in range now. He's in range. He's in range. Here you go. Target lost. I don't think we hit him with the big one. We got some splash on him, though. No, that was a misfire. Damn it. Yeah, well. Good thing that thing's got a lot of hit points. It's got like five, I think. Something like that. Four or five, anyway. Oh my gosh. Hey, yo. Uh, I need you to get nasty on that some bitch. Where is the uh, targeting for the griffin? Just barely right here. I don't want to shoot the other guy because... Uh, can we shoot? We can shoot by our guy. Sure we can. Just don't shoot the Crusader in the back. Well, that's not bad. We are right. Not, not bad. Uh, are you hot? He's a little hot. Yes, Commander. There we go. We can get you on the Griffin as well. Copy that. We're going to barbecue that Savage Wolf, I think. Get him to bail. We, there's some good clan gear on there we can grab. But this guy, this guy can just go away. Target acquired. Alright, Moxie. Stand in by. Somebody needs Confirm. to be invited to the barbecue. So let's go ahead and do that. Hmm... Gonna drop the recoil this time on this one, and we'll fire the rest. Yeah, you're toasty. I'm here. You're toasty. I gotta turn off the AC for this one, because otherwise uh, we're gonna do a lot of damage. Do too much damage. Yeah, it's getting up there now. We'll just go with just the rockets just to overheat him. We need the salvage. Oh, that was a head hit too. I think I could probably leave you bleeding 19 activations, really? I could probably not touch that guy. Commander. That's probably enough for now. He's just not going to do anything, let's face it. I mean, can he really do anything? He could shoot, but... It's only if he wants to barbecue himself. Hmm. What are your orders, Skipper? You know what the orders are. Get nasty on that some bitch. Um. We get a better shot. We only get one shot. Right past our guy. Don't miss. Come on. Ha! You like that, Commander? I don't think he does. Moving out. We're like rolling thunder now. Um, sure, let's just use it all. I'm going to save the rockets because I have no idea what the next lance is. 
Right up, see ya. I think he was XL. Target neutralized. Receiving you. All right, buddy. Let's just do this. We'll use the incendiary MRMs and we'll activate. Yep. Come on. I clicked on him. You can target him. You know you can. There you go. There you go. Just incendiary rockets. Confirmed. Firing. Oh, damn. Heads up, Commander. You have lost contact in me. That was the Baraji. I have no idea where these contacts are coming from. There, you know what they yes I do. Right here. They're right behind me because of course they are. Owens. Oh, Avatar. A pair of heavy PPCs. That should be interesting. This guy hopefully not the rocket line. Upgrade for the pair of machine guns. And there's somebody else hidden. Hey. Alright, let's get you around. Uh let's go fast. See if we can get a quick kill on the car knob here. I gotta get back up this hill. This guy's got the heavy peeps. I want to brawl it up with him a bit, I think. And we want to get the uh, the heaters on him. All right. Locking in target. Nothing. Damn, I was like so. I'm a bit right upset at that ammo explosion. I mean, it is what it is, but it would have been nice if we could have got that guy. I'd be interested to see how many parts are left. Ooh, we got a guy down here. What are you? Hello? Okay, I'm not even gonna bother trying to pronounce that. Wait, I will. Hecaton... Hecaton... I know that's butchered. Clan Streak LRM-10. Goss Rifle, bunch of ER mediums. That's not bad. 65 tonner. But if we can remove this guy real quick, which we don't think we'll be able to. 18 or 16. Oh. Maybe we can kill this guy. This is an anti-air unit. Fuck it, let's blow him up. Locking on top. <laughs> so worth it. See ya. Mech destroyed. I'm out of LRMs. That's alright. He got what he deserved, sneaking up on us like that with a pair of machine guns. Got something you want done? Uh, interesting. That's a few turns to get around that way, so you got to come back. It's going to be a few turns, so let's get into here. I copy. We know how much the enemy loves to shoot you, so let's not give them the opportunity, at least at the very beginning. Orders. Avatar 2. Let's see what we can get. Hopefully we go around the fire, right? Didn't say we're going going through it. Yeah, we alright. 20%. 30%. This guy's a little bit more of a pain in the ass, so let's go after him. I'll hold on to the rockets till next turn. Affirmative. Nice. Go past the armor. Okay, here comes the Avatario. Yeah, he's got the height advantage on me too. Supporting heavy damage. Yeah, he's got damage drop off though. Well, that was a whole lot of nothing. Aren't you embarrassed? I'm receiving you. You know your target. It should really be the uh, guy up there, but... Um, do we just move this turn? You know, I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna move up here. Moving out. I wanna get some elevation. And then we'll go up the road. Drop some recoil. 
ping is probably out of range. We'll just leave that for now. Confirmed. All right, buddy. Um, you should probably drop some recoil too. Let's get you up in here into the trees. Man, we're just like sneaking through that fire. All right. Waiting for orders. We could barbecue that guy. I really want the avatar though. So let's move up on him. Let's keep our flank to the guy down below. I can move around the fire, move around my guy. Look at that, eh? It's garbage chance to hit. Or just, yeah, plasma should land somewhere near him. So let's just fire it all and hope for some hits here. A couple of AC hits and the plasma is like, never mind. Why do I open my mouth? Bring you up here. Okay. Save those rockets till next turn, I think. So 43, 30, 20. Let's go to this guy down here, I guess. I mean, we could drop the heavy rockets on too. And that guy seems like he's got a pretty good loadout. I get 65 tons. It might be a good grab if we can get it. Because we do have it. We do have like a full avatar sitting in storage that I haven't assembled yet. Uh, let's just fire these. Nice. Everything landed. 20 heat. Beautiful. All right, buddy. Um, yeah, man. Let's uh, move in on this Owens. He's got something open somewhere. So let's continue to open it up. 90%. Oh my god. Burn through the ammo though. Oh, it's the leg. We might be able to take the leg. Yeah, I think this this version of the uh, the Cloud Buster is much better choice. Take a massive damage here. Much more of this. You're good. Yes, Commander. Christ, you're completely out of position. Whose fault is that? I think we all know. Let's, go, <laughs> let's get over Back here. We all know whose fault that is. It's his fault, not mine. I'm just an armchair general. Fire at this guy. Engaging with target. All right, a bit of damage tags on. That's going to help. Standing by. Alright, prime time. Let's, um... How's the avatar doing for heat? Almost none. But this guy... Let's come around here. Let's see if we can silence this guy so we can kill that avatar. So we'll come up here. Light AC-10, incendiaries, inferno bomb racks. Just because. And uh, let's switch these back to incendiaries and uh, let's give it to him then. Attacking from position. There you go. <laughs> Jesus Good Christ. Go. Okay, we better do this. How are we doing for armor? Oh, we got shit tons. Shit tons of armor. Avatar v Avatar. Hopefully you get lucky and take his head clean off. Get these on them. Fire everything. Roger that. Oh yeah. Come on, capitalize on that open area. Nope, not quite. Inflicted some heavy. I think damage. we opened his arm though. I'm out of SRMs. That's all right. Man, the AMS in this unit. I have to get that on my main unit, too. It, it doesn't take much. Like, the, the uh, AMS Mark II is not three tons anymore. It's one ton. I just don't have a lot of ammo. Oh, you're shooting the legs. Stop. Can't take much more of that. At least I think those were legs. Oh, of course. 
fuck's sake. Lost a mech. Nothing like oh Nothing like moving twice, eh? Yes, Commander. He moved last and then he moved first. On my way. Better not miss. You gotta hit the guy behind him. Affirm. Scored a critical hit. That double move murdered me. Standing by. Finish him. A little too close, but that's fine. Target acquired. Yeah, see ya. That's a kill. Damn it, I can't believe that Crusader went down. Yes, Commander. Um. Can we get a solid line on you? Probably can eventually if I sprint in here. Apparently not. He's just behind that hill, but we'll take the side angle shot. Affirmative. It'll offset it a little bit. I think we get a bit of a bonus because we're shooting from the side, but we'll take a shot at his head. Because why the F not? Affirmative. How you doing? Out of SRMs. Oh, we got a head hit on him. Confirmed. All right, nasty. Forty-six, huh? Have you got a range issue? Yeah, you do. <laughs> you got, I don't know how that. Whatever. I'm not even gonna. Just the difference in range. Well, here you go. I'm here. Good damage, just not enough. Okay, let's shoot the guys that are problem men. Problem problemary? You know what I'm talking. You know what I'm saying. Alright. Full speed. We still got some inferno bomb racks, so fuck this guy. Fuck this guy. Here you go. Confirm. Fire. Oh, he's slightly over. 116, he's barely Our over. Is empty. Damage minimal. You. Well, that guy's done. Killed by... Kill, pilot killed by heat. Alright, buddy. Acknowledge. Let's go, Booma. Probably gonna hit the Avatar. Screw it, just kill him. Affirmative. There you go. I'm... That double move, I don't know. Hostile removed. That's a bit shady to me, but whatever. It's how the battle goes, I guess. Mission successful. You know what it is? I'm not used to running with so many mechs with just XL, like built-in regular XL engines. I'm not used to like, like this is a double XL, right? I'm not used to losing a side and going down instantly, right? Oh, we lost the Crusader. Oh boy. I can't lose the Crusader. But does that mean that all the Crusader's gear is on the ground too? Yeah. It does. God damn. Brutal. That's a lot of stuff gone. Well, we got it. We have. I have another plasma rifle, like the regular clan clan plasma rifle, or not the, the sorry the the pirate one. Do I go back with the pirate build? Like, I mean, I could. Hybrid TSM's gone as well. Like, I don't. Oh man. Do I just leave it on the floor then? Like, we we definitely have to take the advanced zoom. I can't not take that. Do we leave the crusader on the floor? I mean, we're going to be getting an update 
soon anyway, and I'm going to have to switch out of this series at some point. Ugh. So I can't remember if this guy is... I don't think this is an Omni. <sighs> Meaning it's a full rebuild if I take it. But the Avatar we know is an Omni. Although this guy's here. But is it better? Not really. One ballistic, four laser, one missile. Crusader's got four missile, two and two. It's a much better platform. Ah, it's so brutal. Only two savage wolf parts. I don't think we have. Oh, we do. Well. We know what we're doing now then. Let's take the two parts. I'm taking two because if for whatever reason we lose it. Oh, there's the pirate AC5. Oh. Do I worry even do I even worry about the heat then? Like applying heat to people. Because then I don't need to take this back. It's nice as a handheld. But unless it's got other stuff. Like 10 heat is like, eh, so what? Area effect damage units. Are, well, so maybe... No, this is an a AoE one as well. Yeah, so I mean, that's still... AoE heat is always nice. I got. I still got a pair of these. So this is the fall. This one has 50% chance to misfire when firing in fire off mode. Yeah, that's for close range firing. So it doesn't have damage fall off. Right, it's doing less. That's right, against the avatar because the av avatar's got feral lamellar armor. That's why. That's right. That's why it did less. Okay. Streak 10 is interesting, but we need the clan streak ammo to make that work AR-24 one ton one slot damn although this is a pretty good trade off I guess a 65 ton crusader for a 75 ton savage wolf this is an Omni Mac with 14. Hopefully it's a clan Omni Mac. Like the clan the the, the CT has got clan got a clan um, uh, what do you call it? Core in it. Okay, well, that's what we're doing. Alright, we got two of the Crusader parts, not bad. We got Griffin, Carnob Transport part, no problem. Owens parts, Prowler part. Three tags. Well, I'll hang on to those small cockpit I can probably just get rid of that as nice as it is losing the gunnery and piloting I mean at higher levels I guess it's not so bad it just saves, saves space in the head right so you can put more gear in there let's hang on to it you never know I might use it fire control systems like we got so many of these like I don't have any of this one here but I got like I got three of these I just have other fire control systems that are better. It's it's the cockpit stuff that I need. Guardian ECM clan, beautiful. XL gyro. Got three of them. I can just sell that, I guess. Standard fusion core can go. Double heat sinks will always hold on to, even though they're not really worth any. Like Goss ammo will hold on to as well. Alright, so we got shit in that roll, but... Eh, whatever. Yep, I know. I know. 39,000 is not too bad, I guess, since we have to fix the Crusader. Uh, but we are going to bring forward that uh, Savage Wolf, that's for sure. Uh, let's do that now. Here's what we're going to do. Like, we're starting to get really, like, like a long way up there. I'm going to hold on to this guy, so we've always got a quick sell swap out here. 
These two I'm going to hold on to because they're outlaid. And hope, I mean, if I find a pilot in a couple of jumps, then we'll use them. If I don't find a pilot in a couple of jumps, we're going to drop them. Right now, the Perseus, I'm going to drop. Um, because I can use this stuff on other things right now. And I think what I want to do is try and build two solid lances and then have alternates that I can swap in. I've kind of put, I've kind of built myself into a hard place here, which is kind of nasty, but it is kind of where I am right now, unfortunately. So let's put him in storage. Ah, man. I can always bring him back if we have to. Um, and then let's go to storage. Now, I've got to decide between the B and the... We still got a, like I got an atlas sitting here too, right? So, at some point we got to put that together. Once I get the C bills, we got another, I got a full Orion here. Perseus. Okay, so the B model. Mad Cat Legend. From the Clan C Fox. What do you carry? Doesn't really say. All right, well, thank you for that. And this guy doesn't really say. I guess it doesn't really matter. This guy had ATMs and stuff, so let's go this route. Maybe we can get some ATMs going. I know I have a few and some ammo. So let's ready that. Because I can't remember for the life of me what the B had. I know I could go on online and look, but no big deal. Let's confirm that. that mech is there we go. Fight, Come on. You know you can do it. There we go. So let's have a look what we got here. Bring you up here. Going to go in this lance. So let's have a refit of you. Actually, it looks like we might have got some okay stuff out of this. I don't know. It looks weird, though. I like the st I like the underslung arms, the straight out arms. We didn't get much. It is an Omni, so I mean it's going to repair easily. Yeah, it's not too bad, I guess. We lost like heatsink plus five. Oh, it's fast, eh? Triple XL engine. So if we lose a side, we lose the mech. Or double XL, sorry. Feral lamellar is nice. Endo built in. Uh, how many savage gyro? Entrenched after walking, minus 10% stability damage taken. Uh, increased armor repair. Um, permanently affixed internals can be externally mounted by battle armors. Nice. So, let's get this guy repairing. We do have an ATM-9 in here. I know I've got another one. I think it's an ATM-9, although it might be a pirate version, which I may not want to go with. Now we got a pirate ATM-2, yeah, so we got eight, uh, improved ATMs we have. So, although I don't think I've got a lot of improved ATM ammo. Where is it? Yeah, we got one ton of IATM ammo. And a second ton of regular ammo. So, I mean, the ATM build is probably not a good idea. Unless we can get both HE and regular in there. It's not really worth it, I don't think. Although, what's the weight on this? Five tons for nine tubes. Uh, it's got direct and indirect fire at 600 meters. It's not too bad, I guess. Bonus accuracy. Clan ER large, double heat sinks. Okay, so I mean, not bad. How many clan double heat sinks do we have? I would prefer going with the clan version on this guy just simply because of the space restriction. We got a lot. Do I have a clan double heat sink kit? I do, but on another mech. Which means we have to go with the standard or the radical. Like a prototype, maybe. It's a possibility. That's a possibility. 
have to decide what he's going to carry. He doesn't have a lot of weight that he can put stuff. Well, maybe he does. Let's see what we got here. Let's pull these off for a second here. So we got 35 tons. Well, 34. Not bad. Not bad, but not great. I mean, we could go with one. Well, let me think about it. Put your comments in the comment section down below if you guys have an idea what you want me to go with this thing. Maybe it's like, I don't know, maybe it's an AC build. Because we've got Ultra 10 and Ultra 10 ammo now. Right, what else do I have for ammo? Yeah, I don't have any Ultra 20 ammo. We have LBX ammo as well. We don't have any Ultra 5s, do we? No, that's the one thing we've been lacking in this playthrough. A lot of Ultra stuff. We have doubles, but the misfire on those is just makes me shy away from them. If they were lighter with the misfire, then maybe, but maybe they are. Yeah, slightly lighter, I guess. That's a trade-off. Rotary Pirate. Well, there's the Hag. We could go with a Goss build on this guy. I mean, we're, we, we took it off the Perseus, so maybe it goes on this guy. We build a Clan Goss build. Because we got the speed to maneuver. I mean, our speed is what? 5'8"? Five, 5'7"? Five, Not too bad. Can get us some into some good positions. Can't use a plasma rifle because we don't have hands. There's a clan plasma cannon. Now I gotta do a plasma build on something. I mean we could go do a that's just regular ERPPCs though. We could go clan. I mean we could go dual heavy. But I don't know. It's a lot of weight. A lot of weight and a lot of recoil. Get the binary laser still. I mean, we could go... I mean, we'd have to find a way to sink the heat, though. We could go binary and large improved. Right? Or we can go large improved and ballistic. Or large improved and Gauss. Like, that's a 600 meter. We use the Gauss until we close. What is the... Um, Hags range? 960. So, like, let's say we do... I mean, I gotta increase the armor too, right? It's doable. Double heat sink kit in there. And a way to sink the heat. You know, it is it is doable. That's what the armor maxed out. We can lower the back armor probably slightly and a little bit off the legs. Uh, and then go with Leaving the Feral Lamellar, I think, is a good choice. We can get a bit more wake from patchwork. Like a marginal amount more weight. Because we're gonna need the, we're gonna need a fair bit of ammo. Right? So where's the Gauss ammo here? It's it's actually not a bad trade-off for the Perseus. So we got Goss AP ammo. Oh. Wait. Yeah, that is the regular Goss. Yeah, because this has got through armor crit chance too, right? Doesn't it? It doesn't. I thought it did. Hmm. So we would need... I wish I had a half ton of goss. We're going to need at least two tons of hyper goss ammo. And two tons of regular goss ammo. So, I mean, we could go with a double. We got regular ammo, too. So, this does what? Through armor crit chance. 15 damage directly to internals. And minus 50% damage dealt. So we're doing 40 with the Gauss rifle, but doing 15 to internals. That's got a 50. That's got a 100% crit hit chance, and this has got 50% more. 
So we're doing crits every time we hit with this thing, pretty much. 50% modifier to through armor criticals as well. Wait, is that through armor crit chance or is that just regular crit? Regular crit. So if we go, let's, I mean, might as well go the, let's go the crit loadout. Why not? Right? That's three weapons, but we're doing 80 with this. You're doing 80 with this. Well, 40 plus through armor. And then we're doing a shit ton with this. 10 times 5 times, so 150 if they all land. We fire the large improved first. Then this one, and then this one to hopefully capitalize on ripping through shit. Right? And then, what are we looking at here? Million. It's actually not that bad. I'm kind of getting excited about this. Um, so heat sinking, we're going to need... What are we at here? Not not very high, I don't think. Ooh, 91. How's it 91? Is this thing hot? Yeah, this thing runs hot. 18. So... Activates when above 80 heat. 80%. Deactivates below 20. Minus 30%. Yeah, minus 30 heat when... Uh, so if I run with this guy, we have the room to put it in. That's not bad. And then, do I have an exchanger? I thought I had an exchanger on something. Is it... Uh, maybe I don't have an exchanger. Advanced optics. Right? Because we're going to want the range. And we want Gauss accuracy and Gauss damage. Hmm. Range finder. So we can see the enemy easier, get a better target on them. Uh, the 24 is this weighs more though, right? It's two slots in the head though. So that's fine. We're fine with that. This is better for single. Like this is better for just this mech. Whereas the 24 is, supports the other mechs. It's got the C3 built in. Like it boosts the range. Um, yeah. So this one is better, I think, for this mech. And then... So i got to drop weight. I'm not worried about that. That's just this. So 80 there. we got a little bit left over. CT back. So there's your weight. One more specialist slot. we got to get something for heat. So I guess the heat bank's going in here. So where are you? Yeah, heat bank. So it's actually not that bad. I don't like this is the fact that this is the Ah man. We shouldn't get overheated though. Like, we're only over by what? What are we over by? 10. It's not a lot. Hmm. So I think this is... If I'm not mistaken, this uses 3 ammo per shot. So that's 8 shots. If I'm not, I, I could be mistaken. Let me know in the comments. Well, I mean, we'll find out once we get into battle too, right? Now, do I have any um, Omni arms and stuff? We got hands, lower arms. Okay, I can't use it with this. It's probably going to be the same with this as well. Yeah. 
I mean, we could shift the Gauss rifle into the torso. Because I don't think the Gauss rifle can use that. But then we can use the lower arm, I think. Right? Yeah. To get the bonus hit with this. Because I don't think we... We get a bonus to hit, I think, if we have the lower arm actuator for the arm for be, for the weapon being in the arm, but you don't get it if you don't have it. Unless I'm wrong. Like this doesn't this shouldn't give you plus two to hit with this weapon now, because it's in the arm. It should only be plus one. So this should still be the same, even if I put it in the arm or not. So being in the torso is probably better. Because now I get a bonus with this guy. And then I think we can probably get a hand in there too, can't we? Yeah. Might as well. Do we want to... I don't think we can actually squeak anything in here to lower the weight. Like... Now we need Clan Pharaoh to make it work. Even Light Pharaoh. We'd get a ton with Light Pharaoh. Can we use regular? We'd get one slot. Or we get two tons. Do I want to do that and then go with... Um, that. Oh, I can't... Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Then maybe we can do... Hold on. Hold on. So we were using this... No, we weren't using this guy. We were using this guy, the radical one. We use the regular one. We still can't do it. It's either one or the other. What if we just use this? I'm just interested to see. I think we're better off the other way. That's 11 over. And with the Radical, we were what? Oh, that way I don't have to worry about it, the, the Prototype Double Heatsink Kit failing, right? So this is only... Yeah, that's only if it activates you get the bonus. This gives you the bonus before activation. And then activates for an increased ability, but it can but it can fail if we overheat. So it's still better. Although even in this configuration, let's say we go this route, I could add armor back, and then we can go with I think I've got one prototype double heatsink. Do I not? I'm pretty sure I picked up one, didn't I? I did. So we could add that. That's much better. And then we could just replace all of the armor that we took off. Since we know how much the enemy's loving my back lately. And we're we're underweight slightly, but That's the heat problem solved, but the The minus 20% damage taken, though, is like... I got less armor, too, though. Twelve percent less armor, but twenty percent less damage. So overall, it's better. I don't know. Better heat sinking or less damage? If we're going for quick kills, it's better heat sinking. We're going for long fights. Then it's more less damage. 
And let's face it, the enemies are going to target this thing. So, let's go the other way. Take this back down to where it was. Yeah. I feel, I don't know. I want to go the other way, but I, 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 there's a little birdie in the back of my head going, you don't do it. You'll, you'll regret doing it. So let's go this way. I feel a little bit better about this. I got more internal structure this way, though. Not that it makes that much difference, but... Immune to through armor, crits, and damage. That's a bonus. Yeah, this... I mean, it's going to cost a shit ton to repair the armor on this thing, though. Plus 80% tech points cost to repair. Or 90% C-bill more. But at least it won't be dead. Well, in theory, it won't be dead. So this thing got a couple of small pulses... Clan double heatsink, ATM, another small pulse. ER large. Two ER larges. So, I mean, yeah, this thing just didn't have heat sinking. A lot of weapons, but no heat sinking. It had plus five in the CT, but still. The two clan ER larges, I think these things are like, what is it, 45 heat each? Yeah, so it's 90 heat right there. Then your ATMs, are, which are hot, 18. So 36 right there. So like right there, it's 126 before you fire the small pulses. And you just don't have the sinking. You got, what, six extra heat sinks? So you got 96 heat sinking. What's the point? You got coolant flush, but... Anyway, let's get this guy going. It's a million, I know. Let's get him into the queue. We'll confirm that. I'm probably going to stop the repairs on... I don't know. Maybe I won't. So the Savage Wolf is in the queue. The Vulture is in the queue. We're going to get our main lance back. And we'll run those again next time. So what do we got here? The Vulture we want in the queue. Let's bring up the main lance so they get done earlier. So Vulture is... That. Avatar is three days. Savage Wolf's got to come up. So maybe we put you at the top. So it's one, three, four, five days if we go this route. And if we bring you down, then it's three days. Six days for this to be back. Ten days for that. Sixteen days. Yeah, so that's not bad. That's a that's a pretty good... Yeah, that's, well, I'll, go, I'll go that route. That's fine. It won't matter. I mean, hopefully the main lance takes like very minimal damage in the next the next little bit. We got two million C bills. But we got to make our financial report and make a lot more C bills, which is why I'm saying like I, I, I can't continue. At the moment, I can't continue to uh, Be with to run the say. three lances. I think once the banner snatch and Orion come back and are being repaired. I mean, maybe it. Ah, fuck. So I just drop these guys back into storage for now. I spent all that money loading them up. I mean, it was it was it was only a couple hundred thousand each, because they're already fully repaired, right? So at that point, they're both kind of like they're omnis, right? So they're cheap to like put together, right? They're really cheap to load out, because I don't have to worry about the core. I don't have to worry about other than the cooling system. Like I don't have to touch this really. So maybe I'll take a couple. Well, I mean, I got this here. I could. I mean, I guess I could take a couple screen grabs. But I was really hoping we could play this guy just to see what he would be like as a close-in brawler. And the same thing with the uh, with the assassin. Like this thing as a backstabber is like just insane. Like that's gonna be. <laughs> Does it, it doesn't really tell me. It says... Uh, what's the damage? It doesn't really tell me. That's melee. It says two, 227. I don't think it's that high, but it's pretty close to that. Fuck. 
Yeah. Just the backstabbing potential in this thing is just outrageous. Alright, well, uh, should've got off the pot. Got a new version coming up. I'm going to drop these guys into storage. If we do manage to find a pilot, cool. If we don't find a pilot, cool. At least this will give us some stuff to work with through the other mechs. We go back to the Argo. That gives us, well, not much. 900,000, something like that. Saves a bit of coin, but not much. All right, well, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe. And please drop your comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.